Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome to my channel. As you guys know, my videos are made strictly for adults who are 18 years and older. So thank you so much for respecting that. Welcome to the last installment video for the ATC Card Coin collab that's hosted by Poet and Spice. And I have been so excited about everything that I had got a chance to create as far as the ATC cards, the ATC coins. I really appreciate the love and the support that you guys have shared with me and showed me by commenting down below. If you would like to see all the other collaborators that was part of the ATC card coin collab, their names and channels will be listed in the description box below. Thank you again. I really, really appreciate it. In addition to that, if you would still like to play alone, use the hashtag ATC cars coins 2020 and I will have more information in the description box as well. Not just that, I have also created a playlist so that way you have a chance to go back and watch all of my videos to have a chance to win one of my giveaways. I will be choosing two winners. Now since it's the last video, give me a few days so that way I can tally up everything and I'm so excited to announce who that may be. So let me go ahead and share with you what I use to create my project. I decided to make an ATC card as well as an ATC coin to finish up this last ATC card coin collab. And Poet and Spice, before I get started, I want to tell you I had so much fun again designing during this collaboration. It was a lot of creativity happening in this craft space and I was able to pull out a lot of new things that I had so much fun using. And I want to thank you so much for hosting this ATC card coin collab all right so let's go ahead and dig on in so first up i use this circle die here as well as this double stitch die here these are the two that i use to create my atc coin and i also did the act card as well in addition to that i use the distress outside ink which is the black soot as well as the gathered twigs now what i did with those two is i use them as watercolors for my images i also use the versafine and the clear embossing powder by red collections to emboss my image i also use the spectrum noir marker to give my image a wonderful shimmer i use the distress markers to color in my images and a distress sprayer when i water cutter when i did the water coloring excuse me so this is the stamp I chose to use. I featured this one right here. I've shared this one before that I purchased this one from one of the Espos. This is one of the Paper Nest dolls. This is Big Hair Amara. I purchased this stamp because it reminds me of my oldest daughter, Jasmine. And I am calling this ATC card last video, ATC Cards, Coins, and Big Hair Don't Care. Yes! ATC card coins and big hair don't care is the title of this last video so this one right here reminds me so much of her because she has a lot of hair guys I work on that consistently weekly and it takes a lot of time beautiful hair but a lot to manage and this stamp reminds me so much of her because she also loves to read and there are books inside of this image as well now I love this for so many different reasons. The image for one thing, but also again, because it reminds me of her. And this is what it looks like on this side here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my ATC coin first. So my ATC coin, I love it because it frames out the image. And all you see is the big hair don't care. And you see a little image of the cat and more of Amara inside this photo here. And I love this because it really frames her out. And I did use that scallop edge and you can see that. Look how beautiful. I absolutely love the way this turned out. And then embossing makes the eyes shimmer a little bit as well. It raises it. So that's what I love about using the embossing powder. So that's that image there. And I also colored this one with brown hair. Okay. Now my other image, 
I did the ATC card. This is the ATC card that I made. This is the big hair of Mara, and what I did with her, I did the hair in black, but I used the whole image on this ATC card so that way you can see the cat in its fullness as well as the books and Amora sitting down. So I love the way this turned out and I love the shimmer that I added to this card. And I also went back and distressed it as well um, using another ink which was the Squeeze Lemonade. I forgot to pull that one. But that's what I used to distress the edges and I really think it um, complemented real well. I added blue highlights to her hair with using the distress markers. So that's this image here. So two of the same image but I'm giving you two different looks on two different ATCs. So we have the ATC card right here and the ATC coin here. So let me know in the comments which one you like the best. I absolutely love both of them. But let me know because I'm curious to see what you guys say and what you think of them. In addition to that, if you are still watching this video, you have a chance to play for my giveaway. The secret word is book. Use that in your comment and I will be choosing two winners and I will go back and choose two videos and you may win an ATC card or an ATC coin or both. I want to thank you guys so much and also, also know that you must be a visible subscriber to my channel. You must be 18 years and older and don't forget to comment down below. Also click the bell for notification as well as follow me on my Instagram page which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. I had so much fun creating these ATC cards and ATC coins. This was a blast. If you have enjoyed it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Continue to be blessed as always and I will be back later in another video maybe a few days from now to go ahead and tell you who is the winner from watching my ATC card coin collab. Have a wonderful day and be blessed. Bye bye.